Welcome to this third webinar, Overviewing the ECE Competencies. Um, the purpose of this, these brief webinars are to provide in-depth targeted information supporting knowledge and application of the new Illinois ECE competencies. The focus of this webinar is to overview the competencies and give you an idea of the structure, uh, how to use them, the, the real kind of usable documents just to kind of guide you through and get you used to logistically how they work. My name is Nancy Latham. I'm from Illinois State University. And I'm John Adara Ernst with Heartland Community College. This webcast uh, will overview the new, the 56 new ECE competencies. It will show you logistically how they work in a table, how they're leveled, how to read that leveling, whether you're using them for alignment, you're using them to develop professional development, uh, embed in your program, whatever, to just give you the tools for logistically using them, explain the, the structure and framework, so how the leveling and the competent, uh, content areas work together as they the content areas and levels existed prior to this repackaging, and explain the competency descriptor language and the relationship to the EC benchmarks. We're going to show you how all of the original 347 benchmarks, that language has been used, um, provided, and realigned and packaged so it can be used to help describe and inform your use of the competencies, and then also provide and show the alignment of all of the competencies to the NACI standards and the Illinois Professional Teaching Standards. So one of the first questions you might have are what are competencies? And competencies provide specific, measurable, observable behaviors that reflect knowledge, skills, and dispositions. What competencies do is they really describe what a practitioner or student should know and be able to do at a specific levels of employment within the state of Illinois. What competencies really provide us with are opportunities for common language language within a standard-based assessment system. And so that congruency of language between two and four-year institutions, the field, the directed and titled route are really one of the big benefits that competencies support overall. Some of the essential fundamentals to keep in mind regarding competencies is that they are organized within the seven gateways content areas. Each of these are likely very familiar to you, human growth and development, health, safety, and well-being, curriculum or program design, observation and assessment, IRE represented by interactions, relationships, and environments, family, community relations, and personal and professional development. So within each of those content areas, there are specific competencies that are listed within them. So we're going to guide you through um, the ECE or the competency documents that you will find and we're going to move around the screen here just a little bit. These documents will be are provided with each webinar so you'll be able to get to them. The first one is this table that is uh, is just kind of critical in the plumb line for everything else is built from this table. So as you can see, this table is divided. The columns define those professional levels for the competencies. So these are the competencies at that what we, a lot of us have come to know as level two or that teacher assistant level. These are the competencies at the teacher practitioner or teacher level, level three. These are the competencies at the proficient lead teacher level, level four, and the competencies for the influential, influential master teacher at level five. And one of the things that's important to note is that there aren't necessarily competencies prescribed within each level. So if you look briefly at human growth and development, you'll notice that there are level two, level four, and level five competencies, but there aren't competencies that are denoted at level three. As well, you'll notice when you look at observation and assessment, those competencies begin at level three. So competencies aligned with the role of a teacher through Accelerate within early childhood classrooms, but there aren't competencies that are anticipated, expected at that level two of employment allocated towards the teacher assistant category. So this document does outline for you all 56 competencies that we refer to throughout these webinars. Uh, so this is a real 
critical document uh, for you to use to uh, reference back to constantly. As I said, these are uh, the columns um, provide you the leveled information or leveled competencies, and then the rows. Uh, the sections and rows go by the content areas that Jana outlined a minute ago. So he, these are these are all right here. The human growth and the competencies that make up human growth and development between levels two through five. These are all the competencies that make up health, safety, and wellness levels two through five. Observation and assessment, curriculum and program design, interactions, relationships, and environments, family, community, relationships. And then, of course, professionalism. So those all um, that this this document um, is one to keep handy um, and keep will keep referencing throughout. A second document that um, we wanted to show or, or to talk about is the one that's referred to as ECE competencies and descriptors. This document is um, uses as we've talked about before much of the original benchmark message or benchmark language. So in the original work, we talked about how benchmarks kind of clustered together and that language formed the competency. Well, as you can see here, for example, at level two, HGD, human growth and development, competency number one, which is this competency here identifies and describes theories of typical and atypical growth in all developmental domains and the interactions between individual and contextual factors on development and learning. This competency was informed and created from all of these benchmarks that you see here uh, in the descriptor column. So this language is now here for you, not as a checklist that you've met every one of those things, not as uh, not to be used in that way, but to really inform that competency. So if you're claiming that competency is being met in a course, being met through a clinical experience, being met in a professional development experience or workshop that you're creating, or uh, whatever you're aligning this competency with, these are some ways to better understand what this means, to better inform, are we really meeting it substantively? Am I really coaching to this competency deeply? This is These descriptors can all be used for that. And then in addition, over here, this shows you where HGD number one, this competency, is also aligned with NACI standards 1A and 1B, Illinois professional teaching standards here, and if the original benchmark uh, notation, so for instance, if in existing syllabi, you have original ECE levels two through four benchmarks cited, this would tell you then, oh, well, I see then I'm meeting this competency, how this translates from benchmark to competency language. So uh, this may have seemed like kind of a short webinar, but there's a lot of information there and a lot of information that is the real plumb line and foundation for the rest of the webinars. Everything streams from this, this document. This is really the core document. So we hope you'll join us for those other webinars.